Hello, hello, and welcome back to our first playthrough of Shadow of the Erd Tree, the Elden Ring DLC. Now, we have made it to the Cathedral of Manus Matir. I don't know if, uh, I don't think this has anything to do with Dark Souls 1 Manus. We're gonna dive on into this cathedral and see what lies in store for us, so let's get to it. So we left ourselves at the grace right inside the entrance here, which means we have the entirety of this cathedral to go and explore. We also kind of ran right into it, so there might be some stuff outside the perimeter of the cathedral that we'll need to check out. Just double checking that there's no other doors in the main room here. Okay, so we got a symbol that pops up. I think that means we can't attack. So who is this? Well, we don't often receive visitors. I am Emir. Welcome to Manus Meta. It Meta. is a pleasure to have you. In lands so forsaken as these, chance encounters are precious indeed. Seeing that we have convened here on this day, allow me to mark the occasion with a modest offering a hole laden necklace and a ruins map and this necklace is actually a key item jump for jewel all right the map i gave you charts the site of a hallowed ruin it is said that after sounding the hanging bell there one's fate will be guided by the stars. I only wish to be of service, to help those who fight for their purpose. I'm not mistaken, am I? I can see it in your eyes. You are a fighter, are you not? I am a fighter, how'd you know? Is something the matter? I've given you a map to the hallowed ruin. Oh, I suppose you expect a lesson of me, do you? I know the feeling. Those with purpose are nothing if not ravenous for power, for truth. Okay, so you can get sorceries from him. Glintstone Pebble, Great Glintstone Shard, Phalanxes, Carrion Retaliation, and Miriam's Vanishing, which I'm assuming Miriam's Vanishing is probably the specialty thing here, because I think everything else is attainable otherwise oh yes do mind your feet around the church you wouldn't want to hurt the little boy the little boy okay well, let's check out the map at least a simple old map faded and dirty acquired from count amir high priest indicates the location of a hallowed ruin i only wish to be of service uh not gonna lie this map is currently not really telling me anything. So after doing quite a bit of looking and double checking with the map, my best guesstimate is that now we actually are gonna go back to the Finger Ruins of Rhea that we went to a while ago. So we'll take a look around these parts, see if there's anything else we can find, and then we'll head over to the Finger Ruins. All right, so I see on the one side at least we've got pathway to maybe like a balcony or something. Just want to double check over here that with this being sorcery related, we don't have any fake walls or anything. But it doesn't really seem like there's much of a way for that to be the case. Okay, so this takes you to a little graveyard of sorts. Yuri, beloved child taken before his time. Well, they did say about be careful walking around the ground, step on the child, so I guess Yuri passed away. And that must have been their gravesite. 
Doesn't really seem like there's anything else. Makes sense, it's got the flowers, nothing else does. Okay, can't say I was fully expecting like a location that had no attacking. Now we are back outside of that here on this ledge. Not sure if there's gonna be anything around these parts. We got bugs flying around. They'll definitely attack us. It'd be annoying if we let them. Well, hello, glinting nail. Just gonna get rid of that. Can't say I was expecting these guys. Really wasn't expecting one of those up here. Especially not a whole army of them, but I guess they're clearly all hanging out around this moat. Okay, if I am not careful, they're gonna kill me. We've got even more of them. Ow! Can we maybe not do that? Marionette soldier helm. So the way we went, clearly the main entrance. This is not like a magical way inside. But you do have a way to step down into, I guess you would call it a moat. I'm not like 100% certain. Actually quite a few stairwells. Now that I'm really looking at it. But it doesn't seem like there's anything really going on like around. Like we can go in. You've got those few soldiers. But as far as this moat like water it's not much of anything. I guess you could just like parkour in, you can have your horse because it's outside. But you don't actually have any ability to attack. So I will say, I don't know now that we've gone ahead and like talked to him. I don't know if he'll have anything about Yuri going back. Probably not. Right, this is the remembrance duplication that the DLC supports. So instead of having, at least we haven't seen any of the mausoleums, we've got these. So let's at least, we'll throw a marker down. Just so we've got reference. Okay, so that's the grave. So we should just check the outer perimeter entirely where these marionettes are at. Take a look and see if there's anything. So you can actually... You can see Jagged Peak and maybe that's why... Maybe that's why those ruins seem to be tied back to this place. Oh man, I haven't seen one of these in forever. Some Starlight Shards. Checks out. That is definitely the norm. Okay, so it just seems like there's a bunch of these marionette soldiers around, but not much else. Now, this is where that spring was that could have taken us up here, right? Somewhere down by this golem. Still don't quite know how to fight those guys, which is kind of bothering me. I feel like at this point we should have an understanding. Is this lower area where the spring would bring you? Doesn't seem like there's anything this way either. Okay, so a whole lot of nothing around the cathedral. Which I suppose is maybe why that's the location of it. So from here, we'll go back down to the finger ruins and then Hopefully the finger ruins are something fruitful. 
Regardless, we'll go up this way. I think I saw a ca like a tunnel entrance, so I think we can proceed this way, even though it looks like it might just run into a cliffside. Hopefully that's not the case. If it does cliffside, then we can go up from here. We've got what looks like a church and stuff, and we can enter probably the quote-unquote main way. But let's head down to the Finger Ruins, and we'll take it from there. Now, I swear it is always raining whenever I've done stuff around the finger ruins or after a good number of teleports it seems to rain pretty frequently although did the rain stop or is it just not look like it's raining because we're moving that might be the case honestly so here's hoping that there is actually something at these ruins because that's what the map makes it look like okay we gotta be careful these guys do attack oh especially that one yeah especially the guy with the purpley stuff Back on the horse. I really hope there's something actually to do here now because last time we rode around this place for a long, long time. So we do have an item now. Sound the hanging bell. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's like a horn. Crimson seed talisman plus one. A crimson colored talisman patterned after an Erd tree seed greatly boosts HP restoration from the flask of crimson tears. The Erd tree of this talisman was presumed to be an object of myth. This age old artifact also depicts the two fingers, perhaps harking back to the birth of the Erd tree. Okay, so I am guessing that this is all there is to do here. And I noticed that on the maps there are another set of finger ruins up this way. So perhaps this is the key to both of them? But maybe not, because he did give us a map specifically to the bottom one. So at least we know that these require a key of some sort. I'll be interested to see if this one is the same key or if we get a new one. Oh, there you are. The exalted timbre of the bell has reached these ears of mine. Gracious, the starry sky is wondrous tonight indeed. Only your fate shines brighter. Now, these are for you. Okay, so they give us a second ruins map, so I think it's gonna be the same key, or maybe... Well, actually, no, this looks like it's a talisman. So we've got one key, a new set of ruins, and we get a talisman for completing that as well. So two talismans for the price of one. Think nothing of it. I have made my decision to be of help. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. I fear that you have borne witness to the whole of it. The conceits, the hypocrisy of the world built upon the earth tree. The follies of men. Their bitter suffering. Is there no hope for redemption? The answer, sadly, is clear. There never was any hope. They were each of them defective. Unhinged from the start. Marika herself and the fingers that guided her. And this is what troubles me. No matter our efforts, if the roots are rotten, then we have little recourse. A lot of emphasis on the R's. <laughs> Ever young Mikola saw things for what they were. He knew that his bloodline was tainted, his roots mired in madness, a tragedy if ever there was one, that he would feel compelled to renounce everything when the blame 
lay squarely with the mother. All right, and on the Only way, the stars in, oh. guide you evermore. All right, so we'll check out those. That new map, we should know where that is. But I saw on the way in, a person standing here. Well, well. What is that? A reward from Count Emir. Huh. If the Count has placed his trust in you, then so shall I. I am Yolan. The knight is yours now to wield. Okay, and interestingly enough, we actually already found the knight armor set, so I recognized the armor as soon as we went to talk to her. Don't get the wrong idea. We are neither friends nor confidants. I am merely honoring Count Emir's wishes. Enough of you. Alright, she's tired of talking to me. Yeah, so when we take a look at the second ruins map, it is exactly what we can see on our overhead map. Now, we have not been up to this ruin yet, so I don't think we're going to have like a straight shot to go at it right now. We'll just keep pressing on our adventure, but we also know that we have this quest line kind of going in the background when we get there, and we'll actually be able to interact with the bell, I think it was called. Alright, so let's get out of here and head on to the northwest. And then once we get out of here... Oh, what is this little room? Anything back behind? Or is this just, like, aesthetically part of the cathedral? I guess they just put some Glint Slab fireflies in here. All right, I thought maybe I was stumbling onto something. Got to check both sides for good measure, though. Yeah, it's an interesting area up here because looking at the map, at least, from what we've seen, you've got the bridge leading to the village, but then as far as graces are concerned... Yeah, there was nothing up towards here. Maybe there's going to be something towards what I believe to be a tunnel. I really hope it's a tunnel, because I could have sworn that I had seen it. And they've got these little lanterns on the ground. Lots of these marionette soldiers. Yeah. To the north and west we go. So we got to peel off the main road a bit. Kind of just skirt away from all these enemies. Why is this little grave thing glowing? Hmm. Nothing doing there, it seems. Trying so hard to avoid all these other enemies. Okay, so you actually can scale the rocks, it seems, on that side to get higher. But what if you take the low road? into this little tunnel. This gives me like Dark Souls 2 vibes with the... the chariot boss. <laughs> like, fully expecting a chariot to come charging at me. This is a long tunnel. And it doesn't really seem like there's like anything to the sides or anything. Okay, force dismount. So what does that mean for us? We've got a grace. So that brings us to the church district entrance. So this is certainly like where you're supposed to go. We need to keep in mind that there is this upper level that we can go to. I don't know if we're going to be able to get there. Shadow Keep Church District. Don't know if we're going to be able to get to it from inside of here. I don't think so. Okay, so I think since we have this resting point, I'm going to warp back, we'll ride up and check it out, and then we'll come back in here. Okay, so we rode back around. Here is the set of rocks in question. Now, from down there, it looked like we should just be able to scale up, and that seems like it is going to be the case. 
Okay, we've got some gravestones, which means probably pissing off some zombies. Some glove war. Yeah, you guys, I'm sorry to disturb your sleep. I think these are, yeah, more of the... More of the skeletons. So I would expect that maybe up here we find either like a field boss, maybe a catacombs or a cave. Maybe it's nothing. But that just continues to raise the question for me of what is what is the point? Huzzah! Forger Brood Cookbook number six. And this is gonna give us some well pickled turtleneck. All right, well, thank you, sir. Okay, riding back to the far corner. Missed this earlier, but a blessed bone shard. That's lackluster. Freaking always the purple things that never end up being what you want them to be. They're just like a rare crafting material. All right, well, that takes care of this. Let's hop back on into the new location. So the Shadow Keep Church District. Very much so filled with water. Alright, that doesn't move, so we've got a shortcut. I think we're gonna have to jump onto the roofs, and maybe this is going to be like New Londo ruins, and we're gonna have to drain the place. I guess the crabs feast upon the bodies. I was gonna leave them alone, but... They're kinda in the way of my exploring. Okay, so that looks like maybe it's a jump off point for us. Question is if there are any other places that seem like we can progress. Got logs. I'll try the logs out, they look easier to reach. That is a big fish. Or a lobster? What is in the water here? Because we would die just falling in the water. But clearly there's something that wants nothing to do with us. All right, well, I hope it doesn't try and kill me as I run across these logs. Okay, well, I mean, first thought is this is kind of a neat area. Very, very much so a bit different than a lot of the other places that we try and traverse through. Great Grave Glove Wart. Really are just handing out upgrade materials. So we can't get over that way. And honestly, it looks like we have to go back from whence we came for now, so. So be it. You know, it'd be pretty cool, and maybe maybe this is a thing, maybe it's not. What if this creature can survive on land as well, and so we somehow like drain this place, and then that's the boss fight? Eh? Eh? Thoughts? Could be kind of cool. Alright, I whiffed. You get to live. Do we have the legs? Oh, we do. And he sticks the landing. Inspired by the Olympics. Oh, these are... It's Burning Man. I run... Oh, you can... Roll into him to stop the flame. I was going to say, kind of ironic given all of the... Well... Why, why did rolling into the guy but not hitting him? Why is that? Okay. Sure. Makes perfect sense to me. Okay, so you've got more water here. Yup. Not seeing anything in the ground. 
But maybe we take this up here to another landing area? Okay. No, okay, so that one guy I dodged into and it stopped him and I don't know if me rolling into him somehow caused a stagger, but for these other ones it hasn't been. Oh, you are not... You are not like the others. Okay, you still like fire though? You're just a little more alive. But still fairly quick to kill. But he also didn't have a name or anything, didn't drop anything. So I wouldn't be surprised if we find a few more of those around here. Also said Ember of Mesmer, so I wonder if we're getting closer to Mesmer. Who is it? The ground shooketh? Somebody? Okay, he's just, he's breaking the stuff. These are some very Anne Orlando kind of walkways here. Okay, we can drop in. That's also giving me some Dark Souls 3 vibes. Like when you're dropping in on top of... What is it? Cathedral of the Deep? Here you get Deacons. There's like the back way. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else up here. I'm just trying to really cover all of our bases when we're exploring. I think those are meant to be too steep. So let's drop on in. Oh, do not fall. Do not fall. Yep, we got items over here. Ah! Oh, I scare myself. I very much so scare myself. So for some feathers, man, you put me through all of that fear just for some feathers. Okay, looks like we're dropping down yet again. Just some crabs hanging out so far. Okay, we have a door. Probably doesn't open from this side. Yeah, locked. Well, okay, so that's that's different. You know. It does open from this side. I just don't have the tools required to open it. Okay, we got one of those guys patrolling. So we've got two runes. Rune of an unsung hero. That sounds large. 50,000 runes. That is large indeed. Alright, we're going sneaky sneak on this guy. A little backstab for you? Don't mind if I do. Bye bye! Good chat. We're definitely going to see quite a few of those around here. So I don't know if that means that Mesmer, like with all of the Mesmer related things, I don't know if that means Mesmer is part of this Shadow Keep or if Mesmer is just to be found somewhere in the nearby vicinity. But just with the amount that Mesmer has been mentioned, you know, I, there's... Very, very good chance of us uh, encountering him as a boss at some point. Okay, what's the deal with this room? Are we going to die trying to acquire this? No, I think we might be able to jump onto the arm. I'd be so stupid. So I was just gonna run back here and 
you know, pick up our runes and maybe try this again or maybe decide not to. I don't know. But uh, I died more times than I'd care to admit trying to be super speedy coming back here. Ran off of so many ledges. I don't recommend it. Now, because we ran off and died here the number of times, I think we'll hold off on grabbing this item until hopefully we find a closer grace. Because running back from the start of this place, not really my favorite. Oh, oh, big flame sword, got it. So we'll have to check around these parts. They're giving us branches out to quite a few different things. But as it stands, there's still some deep water, which is why I am led to believe that this place will eventually get drained. So let's head out here. We've got another path earlier that we could head out to. It's like we're heading up an elevator, maybe? No, because the one at the beginning had water in the well, so I don't think this is going to be any sort of shortcut. Also, I just like to always spin around and check, because I know sometimes they like to throw random walkways off of elevators, so. Man, we are going way, way up, though. Send that down. Specimen storehouse. Well, that sounds... lovely. Now, what sort of specimen are you housing, exactly? Okay, well, at least they give us a grace up here. That's nice. See an item? I must acquire the item? Okay, that looks like... I guess it's not exactly the, like... I, I want to say Dear God. I, I know that's not accurate, but... The ones that we fought earlier, the Ancestral Being, I believe they were called. Feels kind of sort of like that, but not... Quite. How in the world did they not know we were coming? They were standing so passively by that I almost thought that maybe they would want to talk to us. Karian Thrusting Shield. Okay, so this is the first thrusting shield that we've gotten, so that must be new to the DLC. Has some intelligence scaling as well. Silver Thrusting Shield embedded with glintstones enables the wielder to attack and guard simultaneously. Once wielded by Rolana the Twin Moon Knight during her soul entry into ritual combat, a demonstration of fidelity to the Erd Tree. Okay, that's kind of neat. So it's a it's an attacking shield. Obviously, you're not going to get 100% block out of it, but you're going to get damage as well as having some blocks. So if it has decent scaling, that could actually be a fairly interesting weapon, especially if you're like a more defensive player. All right, that was a very long ladder. Bye bye. Sorry, folks. Hate to interrupt the party you are all clearly having up here. So I was wondering how intricate and like deep we were going to get into a place like this. 
because there's also the part of me that's thinking, oh, you know, it might be a good place to stop at this. Ooh, Fire Knight Sword Short. So they're Fire Knights. Okay. Very fitting name. I was like, ah, oh, maybe this is like a good place to wrap things up. You know, we'll explore from there. But I tell you what, curiosity gets me almost every time. But we're going to press forward. Fire Serpent. Okay, it looks like we're probably going to be able to drop back down from up top here. So Fire Serpent is an incantation. It feels like it's been a little bit since we've gotten a new incantation. Incantation of the Fire Knights under Mesmer the Impaler's personal command. Launches a flame with the Serpentine Coil. Charging enhances potency. When the flame they received from Mesmer would not find purchase within them, the Fire Knights relied on fire incantations to honor their bond. Yeah, we are definitely getting closer and closer to Mesmer. I think this is too high of a drop, though. But now that I'm looking, we do have a window. Windows are good. They always mean there's somewhere else to explore. Shadow Sunflower. Plus Bone Shard. Oh, so this took us up higher. So, I mean, we saw that there's a down lower to go. But now we've gone even higher. Uh, it doesn't look like you can make any sort of jump onto those, nor does it look like it will take us anywhere. So this takes us up to take an elevator down. A JK LOL to take an elevator further up. Which I suppose would make the most sense. Ah, oh, that's fun. Got flying creatures to come on at us. Nice. Oh, excellent. They're even closer than the one that was over there. Ah! I was expecting the other one to still be right behind us. So some beast bones. This is all that was accessible from this side, so... I guess we'll just head up the ladder, because that guy seems to want to leave us alone. Thank you. Very kind of you. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, so now's where things are going to, like, connect back around. And we can start dropping down to get some of the other items. Or maybe not dropping down, maybe there are some ladders. Either way... That's gonna be a place. Oh. I guess he like dive bombed and missed. There's another elevator that way. But I have a feeling that we drop on this, jump down. And then as we go around, there should be a ladder for us to go up. So there's a ladder to go up. We also have a ladder to go down here. Okay, so we're given options. Um, Because there's an elevator up there as well so let's go down and just know that we need to get back up yeah there's a whole elevator system going on around here there's not anywhere for us okay so this is too high for us to drop down to anything so we'll have to go outside Another elevator? Oh man, okay, this is getting way more complex. And this one takes us down even further. 
so we got two pulleys. Yeah, if that's meeting at that point, goes a good long way. So that's a door that is not even interactable. So maybe we're finding a shortcut? All the way back to the early stages? And maybe this leads around to the other side where we didn't go through the walkway. So this could come full circle and spit us out down below. Okay, now it feels like we're underwater just with the coloration, but that's clearly not the case. Back entrance? Shadow Keep back gate. All right, well, there you go. We've got the storehouse back section, storehouse loft. Now we've looped ourselves out behind, which this theoretically also opens up quite a bit for us to explore. What is this on the ground? Have mercy for the spirited away shamans. And we've got a nice little item here. Skadu tree fragment. All right, let's just take a little peek outside here. Not that we're gonna do anything this way yet. Looks like we've got some sort of big enemy in the distance at this gate. Skadu view. Well, it makes sense because you are in very much so great view of the Skadu tree. And maybe there's a gate over this way, which would then allow you to really trek your way over to the Finger Ruins. So that'll definitely be something for us to keep an eye on. The interesting thing, too, is there's a lot of lower stuff that runs back below, like Bonnie Village, and... You know, we've got this that I think is all connected through there. So there's still, like, a very large area down near where we've already been, not to mention up and to the left. You know, this I think we must teleport to these when this unlocks. Like, there's a lot still left to go. And I know I said not too long ago about the, like, oh, well, maybe this will be a good place to stop. This will be a good place to stop. We will go back up the lifts from here next time out and keep exploring the Shadow Keep. We've clearly got a lot to do up in the loft, as there are a lot of levels going on here. But there is also a lot going on with this water, and I am still under the impression that we're going to be able to drain this thing. So stay tuned. We'll be back in to Shadow Keep next time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.